Evening, Liam. Evening, Magnus. Evening, Jack. Hello. How are you guys? Yeah. Hi, Hi, Dina. Hi, Vid. Hi, Vid. Ah, what? What did it say? Okay, Kevin, we're coming in. Hello, sir. Good evening. How are you guys? Evening. Hi, sir. Hello. Oh, Ryan, you're there too. Lovely to see you. Hi, sir. Yeah. Oh, hello. Okay, just got a couple more coming in, then I'll then we'll get started. How are you all feeling today? Hold up the number of fingers out of ten. Ten is awesome. One isn't so good. We've got lots of tens. That's cool. Who had a hands up if you had a good day at school? Hands up if you didn't have a good day at school. Oh, well, we better work on that. School is so important, so we've got to try our best in school. And if there's something going wrong, make sure you're talking to mum and dad about it, okay? If there's anything challenging happening at school, then do spend your time talking to mum and dad and see whether they can help you. The school is such an important thing to enjoy. Got another couple of people doing it. Oh, Julian, good boy, you're reading your book. Good stuff. Yes, you're practicing the tenets and oath. All good to go. I'm, I'm just reading. Who do we have? Is that Fletcher and no? Who do we have over there with the in family? Caroline, would you mind just changing the names for the names of the boys we've got there? I know I these. I don't know how to do that. Oh. Uh, just tell me. Rename. Okay, hang on. Yeah, it's Toby. Oh, you got three names. Good. You got Toby Novak and you got someone else. Fran France. Oh, France, but oh, okay. I didn't realize you guys knew each other. Oh, <laughs> yeah, <welcome. so laughs> we're doing it together today. Fantastic. Are you do you live close by? Yeah, very close. They're in the same class at school. Oh, awesome. Fantastic. <laughs> okay. So, I know oh, brilliant. Words. Okay, guys, let's get started. Leave mum alone, Toby. All right. Okay, to do it. Joey, come on. Raise your right hand and recite the tenets. It's your job. Courtesy. Courtesy. Integrity. Integrity. Perseverance. Self-control. Indomitable spirit. Good stuff. Now the student oath. It's your job. I shall observe the tenets of Tekongo. I shall respect the instructor in senior. I shall never, I shall never miss misuse Taekwondo. I shall be a champion of freedom and justice. I shall build a more peaceful world. Oh, good stuff. It's great having some of you off mute so we can hear you doing that. Now, I want to do a little bit of work before we actually get started to make sure that everyone knows the key information about their stances. So I want you all to come up and unmute. Unmute yourselves so you can answer my questions. First question. How wide is a walking stance? Um, I think a short one. Um, about, um... Answer. It's going to be too hard if you're putting hands up, so just call out the answer. One and a half. One shoulder width. Shoulder width. One shoulder width, that's right. Underneath my shoulder, it's one shoulder width wide. So I've got my train tracks that are one shoulder width wide. That's good, okay? How why, um how long is my walking starts? Um, as long as the big step. 
one, one and a half walking stances from toe to toe, sir. Okay, so technically, it's one and a half shoulder widths from the front toe to the back toe. And that Good. works for a lot of people from, from Southeast Asia that are short and quite broad. For tall, skinny boys like me, it doesn't work at all because one and a half shoulder widths is like that. It's way too short. So we say it's one and a half shoulder widths from toe to toe, but it's actually a big step. And the way you can measure it is if I hold my hand out with my punch with my hips straight and my shoulders straight, and my fist lines up with my toe, up and down. If my toe touches the wall, my fist will just miss the wall. It will just touch the wall. So it's a big stance, it's a shoulder width wide. Now it can be either full facing, but some of our movements like a punch or a chikimaki are called full facing. That means my shoulders are straight, okay? Some of the movements are called half facing, where my shoulders are on a little bit of an angle. And that's true for a lot of the blocks. Okay, so for things like the side strike. Okay, what's my weight distribution for my L stance? How much is on the front and how much is on the back? Um, oh, on your back, on your um, front. Half and half, guys. Yeah. Half of my weight on each leg, my weight's right in the middle. Okay, now remember, the back leg is really straight with your heel pushed into the floor. So your knee is over your ankle. So in summary, one shoulder with wide, got train tracks. It's big and long, so my punch lines up with my toe. Although we say it's one and a half shoulder widths from toe to toe. My back leg's straight. Front leg's bent, so my knee's over my ankle. Both of my feet point pretty much straight ahead. My back foot can turn out a little bit, but not much. My hips are straight. My shoulders are straight for punching and trikimaki. And for a lot of our other movements, they're allowed to turn a little bit. But we're going to be careful that we're not doing this with our punches. We're not punching like this. We've got to correct it stance first. Okay? Now, let's get ourselves a little bit warm before we get started. So get on the spot. Jog, 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 jog. Let your hands be all floppy beside you. Floppy hands. Hold your hands up to the ceiling. Open your fingers. Open and close your hands. Out to the side. Open and close your hands. You want the video on or off? Out to the front, open and close. It's funny when you freeze it. And relax your arms, let them go floppy again. <laughs> now punch in time with your feet. Oh. My arm are hurting. And then just jogging. And little bounces. Good. Give your legs a little shake. They don't. Okay. Just gonna remove the background noise a little bit. What? No one's doing anything with the video. There we go. Okay. Now, everybody. Put your left leg back, walking ready starts. Hips and shoulders nice and straight. From here, front rising kick. Keep your legs straight, lift it up. And back to your walking ready starts. Go, hana, do. Lift it up, set. Net, control your arms. Tasso. Yasso. Elga. Yaro. Aho. Yul. And change legs. Now do the right leg. Hala. Set. Net. Dasa. Yasa. 
Elga. Yaro. Aho. Yo. And sit forward, bottle. Okay. So I want to do a little bit of work on our walking stances. Everyone first up, just stand with your hands on your hip. Maybe go on a bit of a diagonal so you can get about three steps in. Put your hands on your hips. Right leg first, big walking stance forward. Go. Hip straight, straight, shoulder straight. One walking, uh, one shoulder width wide. Get your train tracks. Forward, go. Nice, strong walking stances. If you've got enough room, do one more. Otherwise, go backwards. Forward, go, if you can. Big stances. Magnus has got to be big. And now go backwards. Backward, one. Two. Three. Remember your sine wave. Spring your knee. Down, up, down. One. Two, three, backwards, one, two, three, spring down as you come forward, use the front knee, down, up, down as you land, one, two, three, Backwards, one. Use your back leg to pull you backwards. Two. Three. Good, okay, now, white belts, when we move forward, I want you to do a full fist middle punch. Yellow belts and above, I want you to do chukyamaki. Both of these movements are full facing. Okay, ready, moving forward. Ha! Two. Yellow belts are doing chukyamaki. Set. Make sure you're pulling the other hand back to your hip. Backwards. Hana. Two. Set. And again, if you're doing chukyamaki, make sure your forearm is blocking your head. Forward. Hana. Forearm over your head. Two. Set. And backwards, hala, two, set, good, okay, now moving forwards, this time, forearm low block for white belts, yellow belts and above, knife hand side block, both of these cross on top, now my shoulders are going to angle a tiny bit, and be half facing. Okay, so moving forward from here. Ready, the, one. The other, is the side block middle or high? High, thank you, Jacob. Eye level, if you're doing that for yellow outs and above, your block is eye level. The, Two. Set. And backwards, come on. Two. Set. Yellow belts and above, it's a high side block. It's not a rising block, it's a high side block. Okay, so you're crossing on top, this way. Hana, forward. Juniors just do the low block. Do. Set. Make sure the other fist comes right back to your hip head. Backwards. Hana. Do. Set. Let's do the same thing once more. Hana. Two. Set. Backwards. Hana. Two. Set. And sit forward. Bottle. Shot. Just grab a little drink.
Now we have a lot of yellow belts in this class. We've talked quite a lot about walking stance. I want to do a little bit on L stance and then do some stuff on kicks. So remember with our walking stance, oh, somebody let in. A walking stance, a big long stance with feet of shoulder width wide. Okay, it's really important. Your back leg is straight with your heel pushed on the floor. Your front leg is bent a little bit with your knee over your ankle. The back foot points almost straight ahead. The front foot points straight ahead. It's our walking stance. Hips and shoulders are straight when you're full facing or slightly angled when you're half facing, like in your low block. L stance. Next major stance that we do. I'm going to tell you the key things about this rather than asking you so we don't have to worry about muting. So, L stance is also technically one and a half shoulder widths long. But instead of being measured from toe to toe, it's measured from toe to footsole, the outside of your foot. So it's a little bit shorter than a walking stance. Your back foot points sideways. Your front foot points this way. So it makes an L shape. It's what's called an L stance. Feet make an L shape. You turn your heels out a little bit. So instead of being pointing like this, they're just turned very, very slightly outwards, but only a tiny bit. We have more than half of our weight on the back leg. We say 70% of the weight on the back leg and 30% on the front leg. Now on my floor, I've got nice wooden lines. So my heel is on one line and the toe of my front foot is on the same line. Okay, so it's two and a half, that means, leaves me two and a half centimeters between my heels. My body is always half facing. I'm never sideways like this. I'm always naturally angled like this, always natural. But if I step too wide like this, you see my target got bigger. Look at my tummy. Whoa, it looks giant. Now it looks little. Okay, so it's no giant tummies, little tummies. That's what we're after with our L stance. Okay, so 70% of the weight on the back leg, 30 on the front. Toe and heel line up, so there's two and a half centimeters between your heels. Back foot's open sideways, front foot points forwards, and your knee points out to the side. The back knee doesn't point in like this, it points out to the side. So I've got to open up my back knee for my L stance. Okay, so from here, white belts and yellow stripes. Moving forward, you're going to do our inner forearm middle block. Yellow belts and above, you're going to do knife hand guarding block. And L starts. Moving forward, white belts cross underneath, inner forearm middle block. Yellow belts and above, knife hand guarding block. Moving forward, ready. Everybody ready? Show me you're ready. Okay, left foot forward first. Ha! If you're doing a guarding block, make sure your back hand is palm up. So turn your back hand over, Arif. The one that's in front of your body, that palm should be up in the air. Turn that back one over, Arif. Not like this. Not like stop it, I don't like it. Turn the back hand so it's towards your face. That's it? Okay. We're doing this. Now forward, door. <laughs> Set. <laughs> Backwards. Hello. <Huh. laughs> door. <Two>. Set. <laughs> but all. A lot of our yellow belts don't look like they've done this movement before. Watch. Everyone's going to do this together next time. Your knife hand guarding block is your it's a block, a bit of a ninja starts. Protecting your body with the back hand and the front hand's blocking. Okay, this one's blocking with my knife hand, and this one's palm up towards me in front of my badge. Here's the movement, very important. Yellow belts, watch carefully because this is what in your the first movement of your pattern. Hands come up and in front of my body, they go back and come up slightly. And then as I drop into my stance, they throw forward. And both of them twist. They both twist. So when I, when I reach back, my back hand is pointing that way, out of way towards my, where I'm looking. My front hand is in front of my badge with my palm towards me. 
And then when I do my block, they both twist. Okay, so it looks like this. Watching. Okay. And I don't drop my hands. I keep my hands up. Okay, ready. We're gonna do three forward, three back like we did before, parallel. Ready, stance, repeat. Find your space. Sine wave, drop down, hands in front of chest, reach back, block forward. Come up. Okay, now don't drop your hands, keep them up. Keep them in front of your chest, pull back and lift up. Go forward. Make sure that front arm's bent, keep your wrist straight, and use your forearm and knife hand to protect your body. So, <laughs> get down off the sofa. Backwards. Hala. Two. Wow, you're doing bad. Hup. Ved, just make sure that back end is up over your badge. Forward. Hala. You want to make this a run? Two. Set. Harper and Kenzie, keep your hands up in between. Don't drop them down to your waist. Keep them up. Backwards. Hana. Two. Set. And bottle. Okay, come up to the camera where you can see. We're now going to do some kicks. But all of the kicks we do, after our kick, we're going to do the guarding block. We can, sometimes we do it with a forearm, and sometimes we do it with a knife hand. One we just did with, was, with, was with our knife hand, okay? The position's very similar. Now, the back hand, as I said, is over in front of my opposite badge. So not down here like this, it's here. And look at the way my palm is facing, up towards my face, okay? My front hand is actually the same sort of position as an inner forearm middle block. It's open here, shoulder height. We're just turning it over and using the outer forearm. So when I block, I go one, two. One, two. So everyone just kneel up in front of your camera and try that. In fact, if we think of a three count, go one, hands in front of chest, two, pull back, three, block. One, two, three. One, two, three. Don't drop your hands down. Look at my hands. My hands never go below my, my sternum. Never go below my chest. I'm not doing this. Okay, there's no circles. Back, forward. Hands in front of chest, back, forward. Don't drop them. So just try that now. When you're ready, try the other side. Three, three. One, two, three. Stop my Cool. Nice. Starting to get it. That's awesome. Okay. Now let's do some kicks. And after every kick, we're going to do one of those guarding blocks. So we're going to start really simple because we're thinking about the guarding block first up. We've got an L stance for a guarding block. Hup! This way. And then from here, we're just going to do a front snap kick. And after the kick, I have my balance, sine wave, reach back, guarding block. Okay, ready. Everybody, right leg back. We're going to kick with the right foot. Back leg. Okay, from here, sine wave, block. Go. Kick, block. Lift your knee up so your kick can be at least the height of your belt. No higher than your, top, your solar plexus, but at least the height of your belt. Two. Set. Neck. Dasa. Yasa. Don't worry, seniors. We're going to get into some harder kicks very soon. Change legs. This time the left foot at the back. Come on. 
Practice those guarding blocks. Dual. My hands and feet finish together. Set. Net. Daso. Yaso. Good. Okay. Now, let's have some fun. Right knee back. We're all going to do Nadio Chagi. Downward kick. Downward kick is an awesome kick. Imagine you've got a baseball bat and you're swinging straight down. Boom! Smashing down on top of the target. That's a downward kick. So what we're going to do here with our leg is I'm going to lift my leg up. I'm going to come across my body and then pull my heel down. Just like that baseball bat. And then afterwards, I do my guarding block. Ready. So you're going to need your balance after you kick. Right leg first. Hala. Dual. Don't open yourself up like this to kick. If I do this, I get a punch in the face. From here, I've got to cover my body up, cross in front of my body, and then pull down. Set. Good, Ved. Net. Daso. Yaso. Ilgo. Cool, change legs. Same kick. Hala. Dual. Here's something to make it a bit harder for you. The target should never be lower than your solar plexus. So not like this. It's always going to go up higher than this. Net. Draw your hands. Das up. Yasa. Elro. Yaro. Good, okay, change legs. Let's do another one. Now, this is the taekwondo equivalent of going slap like this. Everyone just show me a slap. Show me slap. Go, show me. Slap. Slap. Show me that. Yeah, okay. Now we're going to do that with our foot. So we're going to bring the back leg up, knee up nice and high, and then we're going to straighten the leg out and slap with the foot. And then bend it again. This is called a vertical kick inward. And we're slapping with this bit here. The reverse futsal. Everyone, right leg back. This is such a cool kick. Ready? Ha! Guarding block after each one. Remember, we're working on guarding blocks. Dual. Set. Reach back. Block forward. Net. Das up. Yaso. Ilgo. Good. Okay. Now change legs. Do the other leg. Come on. Slap. Feel that slap. Dual. It's going to be fast. Set. Net. Foot straight up and down for this one, Arif. Dasa. Dasa. No go. And sit forward, butthole. Okay. Now we're going to go back to one we all know. 
We're still working on our guarding blocks. This time we're gonna do turning kick. So the last kick, the vertical kick, my body was straight up and down, my foot pointed forward because I was coming straight across with my foot vertical. The turning kick, I've got to turn my foot over. I have to turn my hip over. So I have to pivot the foot that's on the ground. And then back. So, here's the challenge. No one is doing one kick. Everyone's doing two. Green belts are doing triple. And above green belts are doing quadruple. So from here, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, if you're green belt and above. If you're a white belt, you're going one, two. <laughs> Strong guarding block. Ready, right leg back. You've got to turn the foot that's on the ground. Everybody ready? Some of you don't look ready. I don't want to see anyone waving to me. I want to see a guarding block. This says, I'm ready, sir. Show me you're ready. Yellow belts, triple. White belts, double. Above, four kicks. Ha! <laughs> control your body, control your hands. Get your foot angle right, makes it easy. Duel. The supporting foot is everything. Set. Net. Try and keep your balance through all the kicks. Net. Yasa. Make sure there's strong kicks, strong guarding block. Swap legs. Other leg. Ha! Good guarding blocks after the kick. Do. When you kick, the hand that's at the front, when you start to kick, it comes by your jaw. Okay, you bring it up, watch. Here, that's how you get balance. And then back. Ha! Do! Set! It's a forward bottle. And grab a drink. Jacob, not everyone's going to have a surface suitable for that. I'm sorry. I can give you two time to do it though, Jacob, and watch you. Give you some feedback. Okay. So, we've done some fundamental movements. Let's do some patterns. Everyone's going to start off doing four direction punch and four direction block. Remember, when we're allowed back in the dojang, which is hopefully going to be soon, the next week will be pre-grading week. So make sure you're practicing your syllabus. Pre-grading week will be the week after we get back in the dojang. Then two weeks later, we'll be grading. Okay? So it might be in the holidays. That's just when it'll be. It's when it falls. Okay? So, everybody up. Parallel ready starts to be. Raise your hand if you think you can do four direction punch by yourself. Okay, raise your hand if you're not really sure you can do this yet. You're not sure. Okay, it's understandable. Some of you guys are pretty new. Okay, 
So, four direction punch for the new guys. Remember, Toby, Franz watching. My right foot is going to do all the turns. Step, little pivot, step back. Step, little pivot, step back. Step, little pivot, step back. Four direction punch, we're all gonna do it together. Right side, complete. Stop. Bottle. Okay. What um slight change, Toby and Franz? I'm going to give you something different for the two of you. What I want you doing is step forward and punch, step back and block, forward and punch, back and block. So don't worry about any turning. Forward and punch, back and block, forward and punch. That's it. Punch and block. Get everybody else. Four action punch. Left side. Beat. So, Magnus and Ryan, you can do better than that. I want you to, sh to show me as soon as we get back in the gym that you're ready to grade. And bottle. Magnus and Ryan, you guys should be doing forward action punch, not forward and back. That's only for the beginners. Forward and back is only for the beginners. You guys, forward action punch. Okay. Beginners. Everyone, come on. Muddle. Okay. Beginners. Right side. Punch. Block. Punch. Block. Everybody else, forward action block. Right side. Me. She jump. Come on, bottle. Okay, beginners now do the left side punch, block, punch, block. Everybody else, left side of Saji Maki. Beat. So. Bottle. Good. Okay. White belts. You're going to practice. Four direction punch and four direction block or those exercises we just did. So in your own time, go and practice. Yellow stripes and above. Chonjito. I want to see yellow stripes and above doing chonji. Remember our rule for small spaces. If you don't have enough room, you do a big start, then you adjust, then you continue. If you run out of room, you adjust. Then continue. Okay, ready. Chonji to be. Everybody who knows Chonji does Chonji. Everyone else does four direction punch or four direction block. Come on, Toby. Put it down. Get on with it. She jump. Good, Jack. Don't rush. Toby and Fran just keep doing what we were doing. Block, punch, block, punch. Because then you, when you start doing four direction, um, four direction punch, it'll be easy. Jay, don't give up on those stances. Big stances, Jay, come on. Mason, you're turning the wrong way here, man. RF, straighten your hips and shoulders. Remember, Chonji finishes with a right punch, not a left punch. 
at a right start. So something went wrong. I think in the end, I didn't do enough punches. Ah, come on. Bottle. Okay, listen up. That exercise, I saw a lot of people rushing. Bad stances, rubbish movements. Take your time with your patterns. Get your stances right. Get your techniques strong. And then go on to the next movement. Don't rush. You're going far too quickly. And it all looks terrible. So let's try again. Slow it down. Strong movements. Chonji for those who know it. Four direction punch for those who don't. Repeat. Strong. She jump. Love that power, RF. Don't rush. Good stances. Tavisha, don't rush. Slow down a little bit. Tidy up the stances and make it stronger. Kenny, don't rush. Slow it down and get good stances. Kenny, your punches are all skew with like this. Talk before about straight hips and straight shoulders. Yeah. That's better. Slow it down and correct your movements. Okay, you go too fast and your movements aren't good. Slow it down and make them strong and accurate. Good, Mason. Come on, bottle. Okay, Toby and Franz. What I'd like you to do this pattern is watch all the people on the top of your screen and see how good they look. Everybody else, you're going to do your own pattern. I want to see everyone doing their own pattern. If you don't know your pattern yet, you'll have to go one pattern underneath it. Come on, Arif. Demisha, get ready. Jade, get ready. Julian, you can do four direction block, both sides. Yellow stripes, Chonji, yellow belt, Stangun, and everybody else, your own pattern. Toby, I can't really see you on screen, so just come in a little bit. There we go. Me, come on, Ari, if you don't look ready. She, jump. Breathe, Ari. Well, you turned the wrong way there, young man. Oh, sorry. Um, did I start again? Yes. Left first, then step forward and punch. Turn around. Then punch, yeah. then left. Jade, watch those big stances, nice big stances. Remember to block in front of your body, not outside your body. Deeper, is that your right hand forward at the end of Chonji? Oh, sorry, Ved. Ved, is that your right hand forward yeah. at the end of Chonji? Hold your position. Toby, tighten up your stances. Come on, bottle. Shot. Okay. How many are how many yellow belts are here who don't know done good? If you're a yellow belt and you don't know done good, raise your hand. Okay. Everyone, I'm gonna give everyone a quick rush through done good. So white belts, everyone can do this. Yellow belts, in particular V and RF, this is gonna be quick, okay? So just see how much you can remember. So everyone can do it with me. Parallel ready starts. V. Step to your left and do that knife hand guarding block we did work on. Ha! Then step forward and do a high punch. All of the punches in this pattern are high. Now we do a backward step turn. So the back foot stays where it is, just like in John G, we turn all the way around and do that knife hand guiding block. And then do a high punch again. Okay, back to the beginning. 
Ready, lift. Forward. Turn around. Forward. Okay, good. Now we're going to step the left foot to the left and do a forearm low block. Pull up. And then we're going to step forward three times and do high punches and walking starts. Ready, one, two. I have to adjust because I don't have enough space. Three. Okay, come back to the beginning. Back to the beginning. Ready, left, guarding block. One, high punch, two, turn around, three, knife hand guarding block, other hand blocks your body, RF, drop your elbow, drop no, your, your right elbow, that's it, high punch, four, how are you going, Ved, this is for you, step left to a low block, three punches, high punches, moving forward, one, two, Three. Now from here, the front foot stays where it is. We're going to pivot around it. This block's quite tricky. We're pulling our hands apart. The back hand guards my brain. The front hand does a guarding block position. This is called twin forearm block. The front foot stays where it is. Go. Everyone try it. Okay. And then a high punch. And then turn towards your back to the twin forearm block again. And then a high punch. Okay. And come on. Everyone come back to the middle. I'm going to demonstrate how this fits together. Those of you who know Dungun, you're going to do Dungun. Those of you who don't know it yet, watch. So Arev, Ved, Make sure you're watching. Harper, Kenzie, um, Liam, Jacob, you guys are doing this with me. Dangunto. Jvi. Shi. Jok. Knife and guarding block. High punch. Turn around. Knife and guarding block. High punch. Left. Low block. Three high punches. Then pivot on my front foot. Turn around. Twin forearm block. Then a high punch. Turn right around on the back foot. Twin forearm block. High punch. Now I'm going to do two movements in continuous motion. Low block and high block. A rising block rather. Low block and rising block. In three rising blocks. One. Two. Three. Now again I'm going to pivot on my front foot. Do a knife hand side strike. Then a high punch. Turn all the way around, knife and side strike. And high punch. Done good. Then I step Excuse me? to my center. Excuse me? Yes. Uh, could, could you do that one more time, please? Just okay, one. very briefly. Okay, so watch my feet. It's a capital I shape I make on the ground. I go left, forward, turn around, forward. Left, forward, forward, forward. Spin. Takes makes the top of my capital I. Then I come back to the start again. One and two. One, two, three. Then I make the bottom of my capital I a second time. Knife and side strike, punch. Knife and side strike, punch. So, yellow belts, watching. If you don't know it. Yellow belts, if you do know it, do it with me. Those above yellow belt, do your own pattern. White belts and yellow stripes. Repeat, four direction block, both sides. Ready. So those who are learning done good, you can watch. Everyone else doing your pattern. Jibi. Shijok. Adjust my space. Adjusting space. Adjusting space.
Tell them. When you're finished, bottle. Can we step back to that ready position? Okay. And grab a mouthful of water. Good, Jacob. Thank you, sir. No problem. Okay, everybody up. We'll do some hey. sparring drills before we finish off. Some basic ones we've been working on. So, everybody from your here, from your guarding position, lift your front leg up, yop chagi, punch, punch. Okay, front leg, yop chagi, punch, punch. Now, when I run at you and punch, you're going to do that. You see me run at you, you do yop chagi, punch, punch before I get any closer. Okay, ready. You're doing yop chagi, punch, punch. Okay, ready, ready, ready. You gotta stop me with your yop chagi. Don't be a rubbish sidekick or it's not gonna stop me. Okay. Oh, almost got you, Mason. Oh, yeah, don't fall for the feints. Switch your legs. Good. Okay. Now, this time, if I do yop chagi, then you're going to block the yop chagi, shift away to the side, and go punch, punch. Okay? So you block the yop chagi, punch, punch. Block and shift, punch, punch. Everyone show me. Everybody show me this. Block and shift, punch, punch. Block and shift, punch, punch. Okay, ready. When I do yop chagi, block and shift, punch, punch. Got to be fast. Come on, Franz and Toby. Not touching each other. Oh, Franz, you weren't watching. I just kicked you. Don't try and kick when I kick. My fire kicks faster than yours, I'll hit you. You gotta block, punch, punch. Switch legs. Okay, now watch it. If I come forward and punch, you do yop chagi, punch, punch. If I do my yop chagi, you go block and shift, punch, punch. Okay, so it depends on what I do, that's what you're gonna do. Kenny, get ready. Ready. Oh, Magnus just wore a punch in the face, he wasn't focused. Don't run in and punch if I run in and punch you. Do your yop chuggy, punch, punch. You gotta stop me from coming in with that yop chuggy. Block, punch, punch. You gotta block the psychic, block the psychic. Block, punch, punch. Block, punch, punch. Good Jack, uh, Liam, sorry, awesome Liam. Good Jacob. Make sure, now switch legs. 
Switch legs. And come on. Okay. Hey, everybody, steady up. Parallel restarts. Reach up and touch the sky. Breathe out, bend over, keep your legs straight, let your body hang down towards the ground. <laughs> now those of you who have a new syllabus to learn, in fact, there is on our website, there are videos of what you need to know. Not so much of your self-defense, there are videos of your pattern, videos of your fundamental movements, and even videos of your step sparring. Bend your knees, stand up. Left leg behind you. While you're stretching your quadriceps, I'll show you where to find those videos. So here, our website, glendowie.com. Once I share that with you, there it is. On our website, go to members, and then underneath members, oh, there's this option here, syllabus, sheets, and resources. Okay, so under members, syllabus, sheets, and resources. Here, we've got the syllabus sheets that have a list of everything you have to know for your grade, and underneath that, we have these syllabus videos. Okay, these syllabus videos are very useful. If you're a white belt, that white belt, video, um, that white belt link has short videos of the things that you need to know for white belt. Same thing for yellow stripe and then for yellow belt. So with yellow belt, for example, there's a warm up there. There's a video that covers all of your fundamental movements, all the individual movements you have to know for yellow belt. Then there's a video of Master Rima teaching pattern Dangun. Then there's a video of your three-step sparring. Okay, and then there's a stretch at the end of it, so you can do that as an entire class. So practice those movements. Make sure they're solid in your brain for yellow belts. There's one there, of course, for green stripes. It's all sorts of stuff here. Okay, so we've got video, a sequence of videos for every grade up to red stripe. Okay, change legs if you haven't already. Stretch your other leg. So make sure you take the time to practice that. Use those videos, learn your material. It's very difficult in a Zoom class to cater to all different levels. So we do our best, but we have a lot of recorded videos for you to practice your own stuff. Okay, give your legs a shake. Turn to the left and tidy up. Thank you very much for coming. We saw some faces that I haven't seen for a long time, so it's great to have you back. Welcome, welcome. We will be in Zoom classes all of this week and the start of next week, and hopefully next Monday, the government will announce that they're relaxing us to level two, and we can get back into at least Churchill Park School. So in the meantime, do as many of these classes as you can. Remember, five o'clock, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, you've got Four days a week you can practice this. Okay, Julian, very quick question before I go. Right. And don't forget to do this. Thank you, yes. Make sure you're working through your syllabus book. Okay, so for those of you who are white belt, you should have a book, you'll have a book like this. Some of you that are older have a different book. Make sure you're working through your exercises. For those of you who have the other book, this one, Make sure you're reading through it and you know the material. And then you're older guy, your senior guys, you'll have a book like this or the kids' version of this that has a list of everything you need to know. 
So make sure you're studying it. Thank you, Julian. Okay. Thank you, everyone. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow or Thursday. Come Thank as many classes you. as you can, Thank guys. You. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.